It's the most wonderful time of the year. Not really, I hate winter. It's too cold in the mornings, it's too dark in the evenings, but if you catch me somewhere between 11 a.m. and like 2 p.m., I'm usually in a pretty good mood throughout December because, I don't know if you know this about me, I love Christmas. Santa! Oh my God! Yeah, we both do. And uh, if you've been around for like longer than a year watching the channel, you'll know that when December rolls around, I do the uh, have yourself a hairy little Christmas mini series. Play on words, pretty proud of that. And uh, that means we're gonna be doing some festive fast food menu challenges, some general Yuletide snacks and stuff like that. And last year people seemed to really enjoy the series. So we're kicking it off again. And today we're doing classic Christmas dinner, Yorkshire style. That means uh, Yorkshire pudding style. Yeah! Oh, you literally just hit me in the face <laughs> with your ring. <laughs> Why did you buy this? Well, I'm thinking like on the Nothing one hand, it's you know it's it's a big plate. I can fit a big Christmas dinner on there, but at the same time we could use it if we need to go sledging when it snows and stuff. So it's practical. It has two uses. <laughs> So we're kicking off the Have Yourself a Hairy Little Christmas mini-series with a traditional Christmas dinner. This is a Yorkshire style Christmas dinner though, as you can see, we got Yorkshire puddings all around this humongous plate, we managed to fill it. So it's great, isn't it? This is a lot of food, which is why I've got uh, help here in Mrs Beard, who does love Yorkshire puddings. And I'm the Yorkshire pudding eating champion of the world. Not for long. Well, of, of England, nobody else eats them, but... Whatever, we're gonna get stuck into this because it's starting to get cold now. I wanna say a big thanks to Stonehouse Restaurants for, for letting us do this. But without further ado, this is Beard Mixed Food and Mrs. Beard. And uh, this is Christmas dinner. Let's get it. That was, that was pathetic. Let's get it. That was just, that was just creepy. Let's go. If it drifts in and out of focus, I apologize. It's really dark in here, right? No time limit, but just for like curiosity's sake. Hit the gravy, Mrs. Beard. Oh yeah. Don't be shy with the turkey as well. I mean, I want some on the turkey. I think I've got too much gravy, but I like gravy. Right, should we get stuck into this? Mm. You wasted the entire, what if you need more gravy? Okay, whatever, let's just, let's just do it. Elbows, right, Nigel. <laughs> oh my God, this mashed potato is beautiful. We've had like one bite of it. This is one of the few times I'm actually looking at the monitor here and I feel like we're not going to finish it. Normally I never feel that way. Mm, well, you might not, but... I've kind of abandoned my normal Christmas protocol here because I would usually go with the vegetables first. Brussels sprouts because I hate them. Eat them up. Today I'm doing the turkey first. I'll put you a few extra. Mm. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need more gravy now. <laughs> that didn't work. Sleeps are coming up. This is Beard Mean's business. I've been letting you try this match because it's so nice. The match is your responsibility. I'm going to put some cranberry sauce on the turkey at the end. But if I use something sweet this early, I'm going to get bored of the flavour. So, potatoes. I should really leave those for you. Mm. I'm going to have to do at least some of these veggies because I won't want to do them at the end. Green beans, is that a Christmas vegetable? I don't eat Christmas vegetables. It's a Thanksgiving vegetable and people gave me a hard time for not doing a Thanksgiving special. So does this count, green beans? Happy Thanksgiving. It was like two weeks ago, babe. Happy belated Thanksgiving. 
Oh god, I don't want to do the sprouts. I hate sprouts more than anything in the world. Elbows, Nigel. I'm not even... My elbows are behind my back. You're going at this like... An animal's not been fed for days. You know, we don't eat together that often, so... On the off chance that we do get to eat together, it's just... It's almost like watching Molly, you're just ravenous. Maybe not that bad. I don't want to eat them, mummy. <laughs> That's why you say it Christmas. So long. I don't understand how it got from the first person ever trying to Brussels sprout to like mainstream production of Brussels sprouts to eat because I would eat this and think that's it. Well, you've eaten a tarantula. I would rather eat the tarantula than this. They just taste terrible. <clears throat> I think those are the last few. Ew. There's a little one here. Hello. Hello. Where are you pulling these extra sprouts from? Cannot leave all this to me. At least the Yorkshire puddings. And this is your actual job. That's true. They didn't have uh, pigs in blankets, but we got just regular sausages. They're pretty herby as well, so they taste quite festive. They're good actually. You don't normally resist this kind of object floating that close to your mouth. <laughs> this is what I do to it. Yeah, don't do that. Size these potatoes. <sighs> this is delicious though. Keep going down. Keep going. You can do it. Let me have a break. <clears throat> I love how you've... You have eaten a lot, but you pushed a decent amount over to my side, so it looks like I've barely eaten anything. No, I haven't. I thought at least the potatoes you were able to handle. I've nearly finished my potato. Quite controversial, but I prefer mash to roast. You can't have mash on a Christmas dinner. Roast potatoes, man. We have both though, so... Uh. This is really making me want to eat Christmas pudding. You think it's on the menu? I'll have to check it out. Just let it sit for a while, baby, you'll be alright. Just hang in the game, you know, I might need to tag you back in near the end to do some of these Yorkshire puddings. Oh, these potatoes. Let us know in the comments if you think Lindsay's done uh, her fair share. <laughs> You've actually eaten quite a lot though. I'm sick. impressed. They're like little like potato yellow. asteroids, these things. Man. Look at them. I can't believe you haven't at least finished the Yorkshire pudding. Is that your favourite? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interrupting a professional athlete right in the middle of his uh, big game day, here, darling. The thing is, when I've had a lot of food, I just need to sleep. So if you don't. That eat... explains why you spend most. That, that explains. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas food drunk. That explains why you spend most of your days off asleep. Because I'm always eating. Thank you. 
I was just thinking the same thing. I don't think they're going to wash it for us. We've got napkins. You'll have to lick it clean. We could always give Randy a call. He comes down and he'd, he'd lick this clean, no problem. He wouldn't leave one gram of debris. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, we have done this really fast. Yeah, I have, anyway. 17 minutes. Can you get your crumb sauce? It's really annoying me that it's so lonely over there. I'm mean, gonna use it in a second. Relax. I'm so sorry for it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually eat quite a bit of crumb sauce year round anyway. Yeah, you do. I really love um, uh, turkey and cranberry sandwiches. But when we run out of cranberry sauce, I just use jam. Which people think is gross, but it's basically the same thing. Right. This is so deathly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You've literally eaten like a pound of food if that. Oh, I feel so bad. You know what? This is. I feel bad now for judging you because this is pretty much what I'm like after every food challenge. And Can you've got. <laughs> yeah, you've got poke with it, and that's what I asked for, so. I need a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we get home, when we get home. There's a spoon there. In your cranberry sauce. Oh, good thinking there. Coach Lindsay off to the side, give me tips. I lost a few times recently, so thought I'd better do some training. Get that bubble of gravy. Oh. That is amazing work for me. You did quite well, but you know, I think I really stole the show there. No, I just do. Oh, you got gravy on you. What was What are we doing? 24 minutes? I have no idea we did that under half an hour. I do. It was you must have eaten, me. yeah. You must have eaten way more than I thought you ate. Mm -hmm. You really? know what? I've just got my second wind. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, they've actually got Christmas pudding. I need sleep. Go buy me one. Um, yeah, this, this was... Uh, Beard meets food on my teammate, Mrs. Bid. I love doing stuff together actually, it's a lot of fun. For like the first five minutes until you get full. But um Yeah, and that was the not the biggest Christmas dinner ever because I did that a few years ago and failed the twenty pound world's biggest Christmas dinner, Guinness World Record. This, but that, that was pretty big. This is the I think I'm gonna call it the ultimate Christmas dinner date. Is that is that a little bit lame? It's good, but I'll keep thinking. We'll think of a name. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comments. And maybe we'll do some, uh, some more stuff like this. But, uh... And look out for our Christmas Q&A together. Are we doing a Christmas Q&A? Yeah. News to me. I thought it was my, why, why, it's my channel. Why, why is it all of a sudden our channel? <laughs> <laughs>